As you know, our president, co-founder, and CEO, Joe Muselli, is a registered nurse. Under Joe's direction, we have designed the Flash Cure UV Lash Extension System to be safe and effective. It's going to revolutionize the way you do lashes. Let's get started. Let's review your general lighting setup. Light emitted within your lash application station will affect the speed at which the adhesive will thicken within the adhesive well. Light sources include the flash cure light, your overhead or lash application light, any ceiling lights, indirect sunlight, and direct sunlight. The more light from these sources that reaches the adhesive well, the faster the adhesive thickens in the well. Use the following guidelines when you set up your lash application lighting to ensure the best lash applications possible. For curing our Flash Cure adhesive, use the Extreme Lashes Flash Cure UV Lash Extension Light. This light was specifically engineered to emit only UVA rays at the proper wavelengths to activate our Flash Cure adhesive's photo initiator safely and gently. Other lights may not work as well and may expose you and your client to unnecessary UV rays. For overhead lighting, use the Lashista LED light. Our Flash Cure UV light and Flash Cure adhesive were designed with safety in mind. To meet this requirement, our photo initiator ingredient within the adhesive will activate and cure the adhesive at UVA wavelengths that are very close to visible light. As a result, bright white and blue light can cause the adhesive in the adhesive well to thicken prematurely. To change the color setting on the Lashista LED light, tap the M button, which stands for Mode, to select one of the three more yellow color temperature options according to your preference and comfort. I prefer this setting. If you're not using the Lashista LED light for your overhead lighting, then please use an LED light source that does not emit UV rays and does not operate in bright white or blue color temperatures. Here's an example of all color temperature settings available on our Lashista LED light and which are safe for you to use in your Flash Cure system applications. For your ceiling lights, ensure they are LEDs that do not emit UV rays as some LEDs do emit UV rays. Avoid CFL, halogen, and fluorescent lights as they emit UV. Do not apply extensions in direct sunlight because adhesive in the adhesive well will thicken prematurely. Make sure your application space doesn't experience direct sunlight throughout the day. Before we calibrate the Flash Cure UV light, let's talk about visual aids and UV blocking glasses. By this point, you may be wondering, why would lash stylists need to wear UV blocking glasses when the UV light will only shine straight down onto the client's protected orbital eye area and lash line? Well, here's why. It's highly unlikely that stylists will come into contact with any UVA rays from the UV light. The exposure, if it occurs at all, would be indirect due to reflections from your tweezers or tools. The majority of extreme lashes, tweezers, and tools have a matte finish, reducing the risk even further. In summary, UVA exposure to lash stylists is insignificant and minuscule in comparison to the day-to-day -day UVA and UVB exposure you would receive from walking around on a sunny day without wearing UV blocking glasses. Furthermore, the majority of lash stylists already wear UV blocking magnifying eyewear because most eyewear today, including prescription and reader glasses, have UVA and UVB protective coatings. If you're unsure whether you have UV blocking eyewear, check with your eyewear provider. Now, for those of you who use Extreme Lashes magnifying specs, note that these specs do not have a UV blocking coating. We're currently working to manufacture specs that do. I personally wear my own prescription lenses that do have a UV blocking coating. What about reflections off our UV blocking silicone upper and under eye patches? During your application, you will notice purple light reflecting onto surfaces within your application station, including your client's face, nose, cheek, eyebrows, and on your application tools, hands, nails, etc. When the invisible UV rays from the Flash Cure UV light encounter extreme lashes UV blocking silicone upper and under eye patches, UV rays will not penetrate nor reflect off the patches. Instead, the invisible UV rays will fluoresce and become visible purple light, which will reflect onto nearby surfaces, creating a beautiful purple glow. 
Here are some additional examples of the invisible UV rays fluorescing, resulting in a purple glow. Please note, the purple light we see is not representative of UVA rays. This is simply visible purple light. Now that we've addressed stylus eye safety, let's get to calibrating. I already have the UV blocking silicone upper and under eye patches on my client's eyes. Now we need to measure the distance between the light emitter and the client's eyes, and then we need to ensure the diameter of the light emitter reaches a maximum of one inch along the client's lash line of one eye. The distance between your client's closed eyes and the emitter must be six inches. We measure from the bridge of the nose to the emitter because the bridge of the nose is on the same horizontal plane as the closed eye. To safely measure the six inch distance, place a multipurpose wipe on the bridge of the client's nose. The multipurpose wipe will add a protective barrier from ruler edges. Place the UV light calibration ruler onto the multipurpose wipe to measure six inches from the client's nose bridge to the light emitter. Do not press hard. Adjust the gooseneck as needed to bring the light emitter close to the top edge of the ruler. Dispose of the multipurpose wipe. Now we're ready to set the light emitter diameter to one inch. Gently hover the ruler horizontally over the client's lash line to measure one inch. Before you activate the light, Remind your client to keep their eyes closed and inform them that they may hear a click from the foot pedal and may experience some gentle warmth. Next, use the foot pedal to activate the light and rotate the focusing sleeve to adjust the diameter of the UV cylinder to one inch. Ensure the spotlight you create does not extend beyond the edges of the UV blocking upper or under eye patches. Your Flash Cure UV Lash Extension Light is now calibrated for your application. Attachment speed is a combination of the intensity of the flash cure UV light plus the length of time the flash cure light is emitted during lash extension attachment. Select intensity level 5, which is the highest and brightest intensity level. To do so, activate the foot pedal and tap the emitter to find the brightest setting. The goal is to have your lash attachment secured as fast as you can say the word flash. This takes about one-fifth of a second to say, and that's how fast we want to see the lash extension attached to the client's natural lash. Place, flash, release, just like that. At intensity level five, our client's eyes are still fully protected thanks to the UV blocking silicone upper and under eye patches. Intensity level five will allow for the quickest attachment. Your client may feel gentle warmth when the light is activated, but they should get used to it in just a few moments. If they're experiencing discomfort at intensity level five, you can turn the lamp down to intensity level four At intensity level four, you may need to activate the flash more than once to get the proper attachment. Place, flash, flash, release, just like that. Please note, when attaching larger fans or using foam ink, X-Wrap, or Infinity extensions, you may need to flash more than once, like this. Place, flash, flash, release. Following these guidelines will allow you to have faster applications, stronger attachments, and up to triple the retention with designer lashes at last in a safe and comfortable environment. Keep in mind that although the primary catalyst is a photo initiator activated by the UV light, this adhesive is still affected by temperature and humidity. Temperature should be between 68 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and humidity should be between 45 and 60% for optimal performance and to minimize fumes. Adjust your environmental temperature and humidity if you feel like the adhesive is not performing to your liking. With this system, we'll be working on one eye at a time, so you'll need to recalibrate the light when you start working on the opposite eye. Here are some additional safety tips for general usage and storage. When the light is not in use, keep it unplugged and clear the area around the foot pedal so it does not accidentally activate. Keep the light away from children and pets. 
Do not look directly into the light when it's on. You can find this information on our website by scanning the QR code found on the base of the light.